as in neurological examinations, there are basically some signs that you are looking out for. <clears throat> okay. And these signs you have them listed out here, and we're actually like making a video on them, talking or like uh putting out like some one or two concepts on them, all right? So these signs are collectively called the meningeal signs. Okay, so meningeal signs in neurological examination. These meningeal signs, we have them listed out here. We have about four main ones. And we have these pictures illustrating each one of them. Okay, we'll talk about it to we'll add one or two notes and like that. Then what is knockout rigidity? Knockout rigidity, this is how you do it. Um, knockout rigidity. Okay, knockout rigidity. You basically like, okay. Okay, the, the patient is lying down, okay, but you're like, okay, you raise their head up, okay, and basically, in knockout rigidity, you are trying to check if there is reflex passing of paravertebral muscles on flexing the neck, okay? So, paravertebral muscles, these are the muscles that are the side to side of the vertebral, your, your, okay, your, your, your rib cage. Okay, so if there's a spasm of these muscles, you know that that person has knockout rigidity. Okay, there's kind of like um, an internal thing that is trying to stop you from flexing the neck. Okay, then how about the Brodzinski uh, sign? Uh, you said that uh, the hip and knee flexion when the neck is flexed. Okay, so. Here you see neck rigidity. Neck rigidity, you are trying for you are trying for spasm of the vertebral muscles. Why for Brodzinski, you are still raising the person's head, but you are checking if you raise the person's head, does the person's uh, um, hip and knee raise like this? Okay. So is there flexion of the hip and knee when you flex the neck? Okay. So if there is a presence of this, I say that the Brodzinski's Next sign is positive, all right? How about the Koenig sign? Koenig sign is basically you attending to extend the knee joint against a flexed um, hip joint, okay? And if it is there, it will be resisted by spasm of the hamstring muscles. <clears throat> so this is Koenig sign. Uh, you flex the person's hip joint, okay? Then you try to raise the leg. Okay, you try to raise the leg so that the person is kind of like making a 90 degrees raising. Okay, so if the Koenig sign is positive, then uh, there will be resist there will be a resistance to the flexion of the leg. Okay, from the hamstring muscles. Then how about uh, opisto opistotonus? Opistotonus, you are basically trying to like check out if the back is bent, okay, or, or if there's pain in the back, okay. So, opisotonus is a type of abnormal posture where the back becomes extremely arced due to muscle spasm. So, you can see this baby now is opisotonus, or basically, you can do it yourself, try to like bend the individual to see if they'll complain of so much pain, or try to see if there'll be spasm. Okay, there will be like resistance to you trying to bend the individual, right? So if the individual is, if there's abnormal arcing of the back like this, or if there's too much pain, they say that the opistotonal sign is positive, all right? So some few medical conditions that you can um, suspect when you, um, when any of the sign is positive is meningitis, that's inflammation of the meninges, and subarachnoid hemorrhage that's bleeding in the subarachnoid uh, area. Then um, spondylosis. Spondylosis is basically like, um, how will I put it? Okay, it's basically like the degeneration of the intervertebral disc. All right. So if the intervertebral discs are like wearing away, or how will I put it? Uh, if there's tearing in them, if there's degeneration, okay. Uh, maybe they are like their structure is breaking off. Okay, that's spondylosis. All right. So any of these medical conditions can cause any of this sign. If there's spondylosis, of course you know that there will be there will be what opistotonus because there will be arcing of the back. Okay, there will be arcing of the back. All right. So guys, that's it about meningeal signs in neurological examination.
see you guys in the next tour. I'm out.